Every year throughout the world, millions of people immerse themselves in auto racing. A sport that brings together talented enthusiasts from all walks of life. From mechanics, to engineers, to drivers, a team is only as good as the sum of its parts. No matter the size, style or history of the circuit, each class of racing brings both challenges and opportunities. For the drivers of the Continental Tire Sports Car Challenge, the roar before the 24 marks the beginning of a new race season with goals and dreams set higher than ever. For amateur drivers Anthony Mantella and Martin Barkey, 2015 marks their second season racing in the CTSCC. So 2014 was my first step into Continental Tire Sports Car Challenge. It was only my third year of really racing competitively. I was so excited to be able to come join a Pro-Am level in year three of my racing. I really was able to sit back, somewhat pay my dues, and watch how the pros did it. It was a steep, steep learning curve last year. From being a rookie in the Porsche Cup two years prior, and doing so well in the Porsche Cup to come here, it wasn't easy, but um, you know, you persevere. In the off-season, we were able to put a deal together where Kyle and I, as Canadian drivers, were able to join Anthony Mantella and Mark Wilkins, again, another Canadian pairing. Why I started Mantella Autosport is because I thought that we could do it better than everybody else. You know, I could control what was going in the cars, I could control the quality of race car we put on the track. You know, with the amount of money that's being spent, it's imperative that everything is correct. I knew Anthony would bring the goods and would have just that best foot forward, let's see and be seen, hold our head high, and compete at the highest regard. It's just gonna steamroll from here. I think we're gonna um, gain notoriety and, and uh, go after some podiums and uh, hopefully the championship. Every season, the series kicks off at the legendary Daytona International Speedway in Florida, a track with a long history that has hosted some of the most famous names in racing. This weekend, this is the roar before the 24. This is a three-day official test where all teams and drivers are here to really shake down the equipment and get set up for Daytona 24 in a few weeks. The biggest, baddest teams are here practicing this weekend. You'll see everything from prototypes to GT cars to factory race teams. It's a tough one to win. It's a tough track. Um, and, you know, it, it requires perfection on so many levels and, and a lot of luck. This year we're with GM and the Chevy Camaro team, working with the factory Z28 guys from uh, Pratt & Miller and from, uh, from GM. The Camaro Z28 is just a beast. It's a seven liter. It has a ton of torque. It's got great horsepower. You know, all in all, it's a V8 car. It's a six-speed car. We're gonna wring every little bit of performance out of this Z28 we can, and we're gonna have fun doing it. The 
Camaro Z28R is a very different car than what we had driven last year. The Camaro is a heavier car, requires a little more effort from the driver, but it's a little more, you could say, point and shoot. Different driving style, but you know, equally is, is awesome. You know, you really have to uh, treat it with, with care. It's got a lot of horsepower and it's, uh, it's really heavy. As a driver, you really have to be mindful of how much throttle input you give it because it, as soon as you put the pedal down, it wants to go. It's, uh, it's a really fast car. It's a bit of driver management, managing the throttle, managing the tire, managing the car, so you have something really strong to race with at the end of, of a run, which is when it really matters. I think it's a little bit of an underdog uh, at Daytona with the big frontal area. We're not getting the, the, the high speeds, the mile an hour that we really need. We're going to have to look for a draft racing this track. That's why we're here testing right now. We spent three days and we're really trying to tackle the areas that we're not so strong in right now to improve and come back in a few weeks strong overall. Daytona started on a beach, you know, and it's grown into this great place. Some of my heroes have, have raced here. My greatest hero was also a Chevy driver, and that's Dale Earnhardt, and just on that corner back there is where he died. It means something to me to race here, definitely, you know, to go around and think of what has developed over the, the last 50 years here. It's, it's staggering. I can't wait to get into that race. I can't wait to get the cars 100% sorted and uh, partner up with GM and have factory support and go out there and um, show our competitors what we have. I really have great expectations for the 2015 season. The Mantella Autosports racing team, the number 80, the number eight car, the crew, everybody, the, the sum of our parts really should net Mantella Autosports and MBRP. Uh, a season we won't soon forget. Being successful at racing extends far beyond the person behind the wheel. With a close-knit team of professionals who all share a similar passion, Mantello Autosports' chances at success are as high as anyone's.